this is lead med cartographer Smith um, I just kind of want to show you guys a little bit of how I do my mapping so I actually have a dual monitor set up you're only going to be seeing this screen not the other screen I have over here um, let me go give you a little bit of basics here of what I do for my Ruvor I try to keep everything the same so what I have is a bunch of pictures of things so that I could always set it the same so like my mad cartographer text size oops it's going to my other screen this is the text size um, various types of effects things like that so all of my maps can be consistent I will keep that on my other screen um, so let's go ahead and get into this here's my campaign cartographer and I'm going to be doing this section um, so let's get into it alright first thing I do is I do a save as um, let's actually go to where I want to save it as profanity profanity one saved and let's see Ruvo right there and that is S10 so we will call this S10 PNG because we want it to be one of those. We're going to rename it that guy. Um, 800 by 800. That is perfect. And save. There and there. There is my map. Oops, what happened there? That did not do it, so let's do it again. They did half of it. File save as, right there. Let's make sure, yeah, 800 by 800. Yep. There. To there. That's better. Okay, that did it. So we will map this whole section here. Okay, so let's get a new map going and we will put that at 800 by 800 yes and I want this as my background right there right there let's go to where we want it pro fantasy there saved roof or s10 there it is. All right, so let's put that image in BMP right there. And I always move you up to right below the background. That way everything goes over the top of it as I do it. And let's put our bitmap in. I know it's a PNG, but you get the idea. Not that one, that one. Let's draw it in here. Go from that corner to that corner. There's our entire map. So this now makes mapping real easy. All right, so the first thing I want to do is add my text. All right, so I'll go to my other screen. Uh, well, let me just show you what I'm doing. So this is the size of my Mad Cartographer text. Okay, so we'll add it to that. Let me just put it over on this side here. So you guys know what I am doing. And we will put this to 13.28965. We are on white. Now we will do text you are 
34.54871. That way everything just stays consistent on all of my maps. Put you up here. And we will do the section. Seven six and section S ten, and I'll put you about right there. And we will do the miles as well. This is eleven point. One seven nine six four, and we do one hundred fat fingered that miles will set you there. Let's change you to red, and if you look down here. You'll see me typing so I get this exactly 100 miles. So the first number is horizontal, the second number is vertical. There's our 100 miles right there. Now let's get our cartouche, or however you say that. And yes, I want you on the symbols. about like it to me. Okay, <clears throat> now we need to also set the city text size because the effects are different. Eight two five zero six, and let me show you why. Let's throw you right there, and yeah, let's change your color. My bad. Okay, now the <clears throat> sorry. The reason why I do that is because when you turn on the effects and zoom in, this size is a okay, but it's too much black going around the small. So what I do is I add another one here. Text large. And I move it up to either below or above, it doesn't matter. Right there. And then we will move two sheets that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy to the large text. And we need to add in effects. That's an outer glow. So we'll put you in there. Let's see. So what we need to do is copy this. So it's 90.02 in the bottom. 90.02 in the bottom. 90. This one is 0 0.2. This is 0. We're at the bottom. Okay. Now that fixes that one, but we still need to fix this one. And this goes to 01, and we will see what that does. Let me save. Save, save, save. And see how that goes to much, much smaller. So that's much better. So when we actually go to label our text, our text 
will already be set up and ready to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in our land and stuff. Let's do the island first. And this will all change, so not too worried about that. All right, just start kind of tracing it in. And I like the fractally effect. And it doesn't have to be exact, um, just as long as you get the basic shape of your land mass or island or whatever, it works. There it is, right there. That easy. Um, let's do this bottom guy here. And I try to get the same in and out points. That way, when it, uh, yeah, let's just do that. That ain't working. That way, if I decide to put maps next to each other, they at least pretty close to match up. So I just throw our land in. Got the hiccups now. That's not a good thing when you're trying to record. Alrighty. That pretty much does our landmass right there. Now I want to do something different with this. I actually want to map this island right here. So what we'll do is with that bottom one just so it goes right there. Now I already know because I've already attempted this several times but I messed up on the video so hopefully I get it right this time. I want my square to be 300 square by 0 comma minus 300 so it goes down at minus 300 comma 0 and then at 0 comma 300 there's our square right there all right now I like to group that just because it makes moving things a lot easier now let's move it uh, I'm gonna do it on this side that and let's grab this whole section right here so we can put our map our square all the way around it right there um, let's see I don't know actually I don't think I actually need that I don't think I need that so what we'll do we'll just copy this landmass to clipboard here. Do it and we will put you about right there. Now we will start up another version of <coughs> campaign cartographer and I already did this part but we'll we'll do it again. Overland there, there and we want this to be 300 by 300 next and the C finish I will save it to right there and there it is now we will do edit paste and as you see there's my landmass put it down there it is okay and we're actually going to work on just this map here instead of the whole big one um, because this will be a little bit easier to to do our mapping <clears throat> um, I'm not going to put in my my usual text because that may take a little bit too long in fact you know what I can just pause the, the recording do all that and come right back so let me do that be right back 
Okay, I'm back. Uh, do a little bit more stuff here. Um, I decided not to put them in because this is, this map is actually a little smaller than what I usually work with, so my text size that I have saved um, does not apply. So the first thing I am going to do is just add in the mass terrain features. Okay, um, let's do that right now. So. I want to first put in a marsh because I do want orcs on this and I like my orcs in marshes so we'll grab it right about here we'll do a trace of this guy we'll start it right about there and you can see it attaching going all the way around going all the way out and around and then I just grab it and put my marsh wherever I like it. There it is. Alright, now we will need to modify this because this is a little bit smaller. We'll go to 0 0.5 apply. Yeah, that looks, looks nice. It goes almost all the way to the edge. Okay. And what else do we want on here? Let's do some forested area. We'll grab this section and again attach it to the edge and do some tracing. And you can see it attaching. We'll actually go all the way up here and then come into here. It could be just like that right there. That looks good to me. And maybe we'll put another one down here somewhere. Like right there. So let's throw it there. Trace. And our start point for the trace. there like that. Okay, that works. And let's add in some grassland. How about we throw it in right here. Um, start there. Just kind of go in along the edge of this. And we won't have it go to the edge there. Yep. And let's see. Let's throw in a desert. I want it right there in that section. So we'll trace the edge of this. How about we put it right there. T for trace. Go to here again. And we'll trace it around this. Most of the way around. Attach it back on there. And we need to edit that. Uh, right here, desert. Edit, and we'll do the same thing. 0 0.5. Apply. And that's better. It gets it almost all the way to the edge. And let's go to uh, grassland. We'll do the same for you. 0 0.5 apply and that gives that a little bit sharper edge let's add some farmland in and we'll have to change that one as well once we plunk these in so I try to keep these wide Let's look at our farmland. Uh, you're already set to half. Let's see what you look like. Mm, let's go to something else. 0 0.25 maybe. 
it looks a little better. Yeah. All right, so we'll just plunk some more in. Savannah in here. Maybe like right there. Alright, so we'll do a trace. We'll attach you right there. Trace. And your starting point right there. Right there. Good. That's actually kind of too squarish for me. We'll do you again. Um, what were you? Savannah, right? Yes. That was too squarish. I didn't like that. some scrub land. And we'll put that uh, how about right up in through here somewhere. Right along that edge. We won't have it be all that big. Right there. Like that. Yep. Like that. Okay. And that I may just leave open. section done. So what I do now is I add in hills or mountains. Um, since this is a small island I don't think we'll have a whole lot of mountains in it. And I vary the sizes of these things. Add some single guys. fit in with the uh, swamp lands. And just kind of vary the sizes. Nothing real big or anything. Let's see.
sometimes I also like to add in other things uh, we'll put in a uh, cave and how about some funky things in here let's put this in here somewhere too let's go up here and add you in right there we'll name him something Let's grab this and you could also put hills this color um, or even mountains in the uh, forested area see how well that that fits in we'll change that to something like this plunk this stuff on in there wherever you feel like you want them and you don't even have to have a whole lot in there we'll go back to our standard color kind of plunk whatever you want in there uh, let's see a little larger all right and I believe in here yes we have these guys and I think these ones are kind of cool too. Uh, they don't match that, but they will match that. So we'll put some in here. Do that. You could even put in one of these guys. We'll put it kind of between them. Let's go to here since we're here. Let's put in a couple of palm trees in here. And that's about the same size. Let me down it a little bit so I can get that whole thing in here. Yep. That's about the same size. I'll make them a little bigger. Okay, something like that. You don't want a whole lot of it in there. At least I think I don't. Um, I also want to add one of these, but let's go back to our good color. Like that. think went to what I wanted it on. There we go. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to add a couple of more hills down here. Something like that. Okay. Let's go back to doing our standard hills. And the more hills you put in, the better it looks, I think. So just kind of plop them in wherever. to have a whole lot in there but it does add to the terrain yeah like 
that. Just toss them in wherever you feel like. Leave gaps as well. And I'll just try to do it very randomly. <clears throat> back to these see what that looks like oh yeah that looks very good like that and I may even put in like a little mesa no make you be a little bit smaller kind of tuck it in a little bit Just let them do whatever they're going to. Just to add in some different type of terrain is all. And that's all that you really want it to do. Oops, that didn't work out well. good. I like that. And do we put in another oasis? Maybe. Stick it right up in there. And then tuck it on in with a couple of more hills and stuff. There we go. Back to our palm trees. They look about the same size. So let's put them in here. Wherever you want them. Doesn't matter, you can even put them on top of there if you want. it in here so that it's hard to see. Right, just put them in there a little bit so that they know you got some trees up in here. Something like that. Not a whole lot, but enough. Okay, well, do us a save. <gasps> Man, I got the hiccup still. My goodness. Alright, so let's put in some more hills. Go to here. I'm sorry, I have to have that on white when I do it. It's just me being me. Add them in wherever you want them. It doesn't really matter where or how. As Bob Ross says, it's your painting. Do it your way. Hit tab to change it. Be afraid to fiddle around with it because you never know you may do an accident that's perfect for whatever it is you need I think something like that Back to here, add a little bit.
bit down this way. And I think we're just about ready to call it done. that will do the mountains. Alright, so at this point I think we are ready to put in the cities. And we'll have a couple of large cities on here. And we'll do the humans first. One here. I'll put one on that side. there and how about one down here somewhere a big big city now we'll do this as a town all right now what I want to do is go to here and do the orcs so we'll go to the orcs stuff <laughs> <clears throat> we'll put one big city in here and we'll put it near the entrance okay a couple of these a couple of hamlets and just plug them in wherever you feel like putting them in doesn't really matter where Maybe we'll even have an orc tower somewhere. Maybe right up there. So they kind of keep an eye on things. Okay. Now let's add in some minor roads. And just kind of plug them on in. That didn't work out. Right, so let's go this way. That's better. Yeah, they're kind of stupid, so we'll make them do whatever. You know what? I don't like that. Let me back up here. Get rid of that. Minor. Yeah, we'll have them kind of go through the hills. See what that looks like. Yeah. And yeah, we'll make it attached there as well. No big deal. aren't very bright. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Save. Alright, now the forests, woods, whatever, I like to put elves in there. And we'll have one big city of elves next to the mountain. And let's put a village right here maybe out that way toss in a bunch of little hamlets okay we'll even throw in one castle uh, where do we want you let's put you right there okay and main road. We'll have you go up to here. And you go up to there. I don't like that. <coughs> so we'll try 
it the other way. Don't like that. Okay, that looks better. And that looks better. All right, now let's do minor roads. there. That don't look good. That looks alright. Something like that. Just to connect everybody up. Let's see what we look like. Okay, I don't like this one. Don't like that one. I'll do those over. better. That one don't. Okay, I like that. I think I might do one right there. Let's see. like that. Let's try you the other way. Don't like that. Come on, I hate those big ones. It is not behaving. There we are. Okay. We'll keep that. go down here, add some elven stuff down here, and I think the biggest we'll have is a town. Let's add a tower right there. Let's put one also maybe over there. decide what I want to do here. That's it for that one. Let's do some roads. what it is. Sometimes this thing just does not behave properly. There you go. Minor roads for everybody else. I just saw that. Get rid of you. That's goofy. There we go, that's better. Um, let's just make you go right on up to here. I don't know what it is with this thing right now, but it's not behaving, is it? Okay, let's try this. That don't work. That ain't working. There we 
There we go, that worked. That didn't work. And I don't get it. Sometimes it works good, sometimes it don't. That one was horrible. That's better. Alright, we'll save that. <clears throat> Alright, let me show you how I actually do my um, city naming. So I will bring up my my Google and what I will do is um, Orc City Name Generator. We'll go to here. And these are all the city names. And all I do is highlight, copy, paste. I'm going to move this off screen. Oops. Put this to white. And then I paste. <coughs> That's actually too big. shrink it down that's better whatever size that is I will keep that oops yeah let's move it though there you are and I think we're do let's go to text edit that put a one there apply that's a lot better right there that's a lot better all right so that's all that I do I just kind of use that generator for all kinds of things oh actually you know what that's my orc that's not my elven So we'll throw you there. But that's how I do it. Okay. And then uh, the last thing that I would do is throw in a bunch of trees. Let's just grab this whole section here. And the first thing I do is grab this, make you a little larger. Yeah. Kind of put them in doesn't matter where and then do the actual individual trees now when I do the forest I just put them in randomly Okay, some places I put it in thick, some places I put it in thin. Like right here, we'll put it in a real thick spot. Thin. Just kind of put, plop them on in there. Try to have some hang over the water because that gives it a nice effect. Thick, 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 thick. And let's scoot over here. Go up. And it's okay if you put them on top of the rocks, too. You know, it's alright. Just fill it all in. Put some place real thick, some place real thin. Just plop them all in there. And actually, I don't like to cover my building, so we'll try to get up that guy. Toss him out. There we go. Just 
Just plop them all in here anywhere. Do it all random. You don't want any thought process to this at all. Okay, and then what I like to do after I do the forest is just kind of put some out here a little bit. And some thin, some places a little thicker. Look at the terrain you're putting it on. This is uh, savanna, so you don't want a lot of trees there. Just put them on in. Don't want them out in the water, though. They're not water plants. And notice how I do it. Some are thin, some are thick. Just put them wherever. Intermix it in the in the uh, hills there. Maybe put some around there. I'll show you. you could even divide it right there if you want. Just plop them in, in there anywhere. All right, it kind of gives it a good effect. All right, and don't be afraid to leave open, empty spaces. Put them in thicker in some spots. Now for the swamp, I like to use these, and we'll make them a little bit bigger. And just kind of plunk them on in there. Do the same thing. Some a little thicker, some a little thinner. And that's basically all that I do. All right, um, you could do things like name some of the seas, things like that. Name some of the mountains. Name some of the hills. Name your savannas. Uh, whatever it is, but that's basically how I do a map. Okay, thank you for watching.